Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to dive back to the old days when people were filming a what's on my iPhone video. Those videos got me a lot of views, so anyway, I'm going to do the what's on my iPhone XS Max. Before we dive into my new phone, let's go back to the old days when I was using this phone. It is so cracked. This is the 6S Plus. If you guys want to see what's on my iPhone, like all my other ones, it will be linked down below and then after this one i had the um iphone 7 plus i mean i still have it it just doesn't turn on anymore so that's great i'm very 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 good with phones as you can see all my phones are really bad so my mom got me a new one and it's the iphone xs max in the color like rose gold i don't really know the color of this but it's really pretty and this is my case it just has my boyfriend initial on it it's like marble but you guys can also get this case for some monies off with my code right here so anyway let's dive into this phone yes this is me as a lock screen because i love myself and i'm very narcissistic but anyway another picture of me at the background because i love myself a lot the last folder is ill because this picture is kind of ill and then anyway let's dive into the app so i color coordinate all my apps in like color schemes and folders we interrupt our program to bring you this important message for anyone who has the airpods <laughs> flexing even more um i have a really cool hack to show you so basically if you turn on this ear looking thing in the control center you can like eavesdrop on people and basically if you leave your phone somewhere but you still have your airpods connected and have this on you can listen to the conversation of the people so you can basically spy on the people or spy on your boyfriend if he's cheating on you with another first we have been together been together is like an app where you can use to like track how long you have been with someone else like how long you guys have been together and you can just use this with yeah like your crush i mean they won't know anyway i don't know your bias like i don't know jungkook huh, or ratmon and then we have photomath photomath is just like an app that you shouldn't tell your teacher that you use it because it's kind of like cheating but basically it's like an app where you can take a picture of an equation it will scan and show you all the ways to do it and it's really cool just please don't tell my teacher that i use this app Thank you. Next we have YouTube because YouTube. Next we have Netflix. I really like Netflix and let's go through my list. I really recommend Train to Busan. It's such a good Korean movie. And then also if you watch Korean drama and don't know about Boys Over Flower, are you even into Korean drama? Bird Box because everyone is watching it. And then I have Elite. Elite is such a good Hispanic or Spanish Spain. It's from Spain movie episode series show. It's so good. There's not a lot of papi but like and then I have Rabbit. Rabbit is a really cool app where you can like video call a person or call a person and then watch a movie at the same time. Not just a person, like a whole group. If you have friends, of course. Or you can join other people um, if you don't have friends like me. And then we have notes, we have Snapchat, follow me on Snapchat. Next we have Pocket Video. Pocket Video is basically like an app where you can edit your YouTube video on. I have a tutorial on it. I have Duolingo. Duolingo is like an app where you can like learn different languages on it. I practice Spanish and Thai on their phone. We have messages, XVPN. XVPN is my holy grail, okay? Because my school blocks every website out there, even its own website. Like what the heck? And Google. So I use XVPN, I turn it on and basically I can go through any websites and next we have facebook quizlet quizlet i just use it to learn new vocabs new spanish words and then i have twitter app store safari messenger telegram and facetune let's go to facetune so this picture was already edited but let's edit it even more so i'm gonna make my butt bigger because why not and then i'm gonna make my waist super small wow so realistic and then let's make the highlighter pop even more and uh, okay so let's pick it so let's go there and then wow so uh james charles who i mean cute and that is how i make my butt bigger in all my instagram pictures so next i have discord instagram <laughs> so follow me on instagram it's x lena grande x and yeah i post a lot of makeup tutorials on there and i always post on instagram so go follow me on there if i quit youtube just follow me on there and then i have makeup plus because i just do um let's edit even more why not okay so as you can see this same picture it will scan and make my nose turn into a little toothpick like so small so see how big it is and how light i look yeah you can do even more let's make my eyes bigger why not i don't think i can but yeah oh my gosh i look like a doll 
and now let's make my lips bigger oh, oh my gosh you guys this is amazing so yeah that is how i edit my pictures i love it okay oh let's make my eyes green i forgot to do that so let's make them green okay you can edit it even more so let's go and what am i gonna do okay i'm gonna make them different colors because oh my gosh i look so beautiful <laughs> Anyway, let's move on. So next we have music, and I listen to a lot of Bad Bunny, El Is Mi Papi. And yeah, you guys can also follow me on Apple Music because I have an account. It's Exelina Grande X, and then I have some playlists available like Workout, Kamai Songs, I Miss You, Heartbroken Station, Depression. What is this? I've never updated last week. Oh, I guess I was depressed last week. Great. When was oh that's heartbroken station was also updated last week i guess i was depressed and heartbroken last week okay uh move on so voice memos via co which is like an app where i just edit like filters and make my instagram kind of match together like this picture is really pretty and you guys can see before and after it's really pretty i really recommend it and have calendar gmail calculator reminders documents google photos you all need google photos so basically my iphone 7 plus was not working because it just never turns on and then basically that means i cannot back up anything because my I never like turn on my backup I don't have enough storage I don't have money to pay for iCloud photos or whatever I remembered that I had Google photos so basically all my pictures was always backing up and updated every time a new photo is added or deleted so yeah download this and it doesn't take any storage at all well it probably takes like one megabyte next we have editing for photos so first that's snow snow is like an app where I just basically can take pictures it makes me look white a lot of Asian people use this to make themselves look white I don't like it. I like myself to be tanner and darker. Next, we have Fonto. I actually edited my last thumbnail, which is this one. Next, we have Boomerang Unam Unam. Basically, just put all my Instagram pictures together so I can like match all the theme. Next, we have Lightroom and Snapseed. These apps are more like professional types. So Lightroom is Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. You can add like brightness or darkness, shadows, and all that. It's not loading, but that's that and then snapseed same type of idea next we have adobe draw this is what all those instagram people or instagram fan accounts use to make those drawings so that's really cool i have molly cam it's just i don't know what this is okay let's check it out okay wow oh basically it just turns your picture into a polaroid cool didn't know what that was i should delete it and then i have pixart pixart is cool i just don't know what it is and then i have video editing program so this one is camera connect it just basically connects my canon camera to my phone so i can like back up photos and watch myself and see the screen of my camera through my phone and i have imovie vhs camcorder and huji it's like the same apps it turns your videos into like those old film like vhs and then um i have unfold unfold is actually really cool it's actually used for like um story to make it look better like instagram story so this is i added one of my picture on here you can also add video here too and then basically if you save it it just share it to instagram it just goes right to your instagram story and really makes your instagram look so aesthetic next we have the school folder so first i have the sat practice app i never touched this but you can use this app to practice with sat have remind my teachers made me download this so yeah and then have mathaway mathaway basically it acts like uh t the texas x81i calculator it's not as good but like it works so that's pretty cool and but you have to pay for this app so i don't really recommend it but next we have word excel office lens so office lens you can take a picture of like a piece of paper and it will scan it into a document and you can turn it to a pdf file you can take a picture of like a business card and it literally like cuts it and like perfectly into this so that's pretty cool and then i have english to Khmer dictionary i'm cambodian so i gotta learn like some words in Khmer. so yeah i have libby which is an app where i borrow books from my library i have dictionary merriam webster and then I have onedrive powerpoint outlook hoopla which i don't know what it is so these are extra social media apps that i don't really use so i have line i have skype clue clue is not really a social media app it's just an app where i track my period um so yeah and a pinterest whatsapp my calendar because we have different holidays in cambodia so i just have this to have it and have repost to repost instagram i have wiki which i used to watch like k-drama so that's pretty cool if you want to download it last but not least we have tumblr i'm probably gonna delete it because i have no use for it anymore anyway um next i have work so basically these are all like my youtube stuff 
or like promotional stuff. So I have Famebit, Octoly, Reports Plus, Influencer, and YouTube Studio. And then I have shopping where I shop. I never really shop online because I don't have a credit card. Plus my mom is Asian, so she won't let me use it. Okay, then I have so I have Victoria's Secret. You can actually get free panties from the app, so you can download this. And the Pink Nation, same thing. You can download the app and get free panties. So. You're welcome. And I have H&M, Forever 21, Ulta Beauty. I use this a lot to get free coupons, so download the app to get coupons. I have Yelp, I have Instafood, KH. This is the app that I use all the time when I was in Cambodia. And then I have Starbucks, which I never ordered on there. Just check the new drinks out, so yeah. And then I have games. I don't play games, but I'm like a loser, so... I have Wordseek, Slither.io, which I don't know what it is. I have 8-Ball Pool. I have Fortnite, Mo- PUBG Mobile. I can't even pronounce the game that I downloaded, so you can tell. I'm a loser. Also, I do play PUBG. Like, once. But still counts. Um, and then I have Entertainment. So these are just other apps that I listen to music on. I've never used this anymore because, you know, I already paid for Apple Music. So why do I need this? I have iTunes Store, Pandora, Sazam. Sazam basically is an app where you can just like, there's a song on the radio. You can put this app on and it will listen and track the title of the song and have Spotify. And then I have Travel. So Travel, it's just for traveling. So Uber, Grab, and pass app taxi um these apps are available in like cambodia for me to use for transportation have smart smart na smart na smart na um you do net khmer score the app nung app ai have top ma oh the lam yet khmer next i have google maps airbnb maps subby e novel it's like an app i use to read khmer books i don't even use it but yeah last but not least i have ill and it's ill so i'm not gonna go through it oh i forgot at the bottom i have photos clock camera and wheelie setting so so i hope you guys like this video if you do give it a big thumbs up don't forget to turn on the notification subscribe like this video and comment down below if you like this video if you dislike this video and yes you can dislike this video too and comment down below what other videos you guys want to see and yeah i'm going to post a video every week or every other week so make sure you turn on your notification i already think i already said that anyway i will see you guys later Bye.